Okay, we are back once again. High Level Podcast with your host Kyle and Reina. We want to just again say thank you to everybody who has reached out to us, who has subscribed. What? Okay, anyways, welcome back to the High Level Podcast. As I was saying, we want to thank you guys for all the support, the love, all the shares, likes, comments, and speaking of which, uh, you guys can hop over to YouTube, find us at the High Level Podcast, subscribe, like, share, comment, tell your friends to tell their friends. Today, guys, we are kind of do something a little bit different. We are just going to do some threads today. Um, kind of like a read and react kind of thing. You guys already know if you've tuned in before what it is. So, um, one thing I do want to touch on before we get started, because there's been so much involvement oh, in the go. situation here and we we've go. already spoke about this a little bit before that being the Drake beef, you know, <laughs> I heard the leak track. I'm sure the whole internet has heard the leak track. And I think that man came for some head tops. He did. He did. He name I dropped will... in everything. Yeah. He, he definitely came more correct than J. Cole did. We will say that. Yeah. Mr. Well, Apology. I know. I mean, I, I like, I get soft why he wanted to apologize. But at the same time, like this is rap, man. This is rap. Like and this is sport. This you is killed culture. It. And like, he killed it. And you know, just to pull it off. And I've noticed that it, that song seven minute drill is actually still on Apple music. And no, it's, not, it's not, it is. It's not. They took it off. It's not on there because it skipped it was up right the, over it today. was up there yesterday and i actually listened to it so i don't know maybe it finally caught up to me um but i also was very impressed with rick ross's diss track i mean he had that, a hard beat he yeah. came with some bars like I, I and don't he know. came solely for bbl drake he came yeah i mean bbl drizzy i don't see it bbl drizzy with the type of money he has you know he could very he well saw have dr done jung it. i know he got that bbl you're such a hater i'm not a hater um but His receipts i think um i think drake needs to come out hot i think he really needs to come even harder he needs a hard beat he needs to just come on a track and 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 rebuttal because this whole posting screenshots of his conversation with his mom about corny. Rick Ross like that is corny and that's coming from like the ultimate Drake fan so that's a little he corny. Said you called your mommy. I know, and but I will say I think Rick Ross is borderline crossing lines with like the whole like white boy white boy thing because like all right yeah Drake is light skin but regardless he's of anything like he's half white so yeah he's gonna be. A little light skin, but to sit there all white boy, white boy, like I think that's a little too I, much. I think it. The only th I find it, you know, the hypocrisy. Like you was letting him drop the N word with you on tracks, like he was one of y'all. But now that y'all beefing, he's white boy. Like yeah, see that got pick a side, pick that, a side. That's that shiesty shit. And I found something that I found interesting that I wanted to read, and it was. They labeled it the Drake stimulus package. So, <laughs> and uh, I thought this was very interesting. So Drake assisted 32 artists to their highest hot 100 position at the time. Now this list is long. I'm just going to rattle. Two Chains, 21 Savage, ASAP Rocky, Black Coffee, Blockboy, JB, DJ Khaled, Dev Season, Vivio Foreign, French Montana, Future, Giggs, Giveon, I Love McConan, Georgia Smith, Kendrick Lamar, Kyla, Lil Baby, Lil Dirk, Majid, Jordan, Meek Mill, Offset, Playboy Cardi, Party Next Door, Quavo, Rick Ross, Romeo Santos, Sampha, Sosa Geek, Summer Walker, The Weeknd, and for those who didn't hear, The Weeknd, Travis Scott, and WizKid. I would just like to clarify the weekend had clout way before Drake. I'm just going to put that out there. Real Tumblr users know. For a different reason, maybe, sure. Um, but any, I want to just let me, we'll rattle through this and then you can elaborate on your 
weekend things. Um, they jumped an average of 19 places from their previous peak. So before Lil Baby was 65, Lil Dirk was 41, Offset was 37, Romeo Santos was 34, and Future was 33. It says six he's assisted multiple times. French Montana twice, Party Next Door three times, Rick Ross twice, Sampha twice, Travis Scott twice, Future twice. 18 artists had never charted before the Hot One, uh, never charted before on the Hot 100. ASAP Rocky, Black Coffee, Blockboy JB, Dev Season, Fabio Foreign, French Montana, Giggs, Giveon, I Love McConan, Georgia Smith, Kyla, Majaya Jordan, Party Next Door, Samfa, Sosa Geek, Summer Walker, The Weekend, Wizkid. Six songs assisted multiple artists at once. I'm on one, DJ Khaled, Rick Ross, Fucking Problem, ASAP Rocky, Two Chains, and Kendrick Lamar. One Dance, Kyla and Wizkid, Get It Together, Georgia Smith and Black Coffee, Portland with Travis Scott and Quavo, and Demons with Fabio Foreign and Sosa Geek. Um, I'm surprised he did a song with Fabio, honestly. Yeah. That was on... Have me on it. I, I like him. I thought it was um <laughs> on Darkling's uh, demo tapes, that song with them together. Um, and then the last of it is assists per year. So in 2011, there was two, 2012, six assists. Okay. <laughs> 2013, three, 2014, two, 2015, one, 2016, six, 2017, seven, 2018, three, 2019, three and 2020. I can't see because of the mute symbol over the picture. So. There's just a little insight on these dudes that are trying to come for Drake, but yet um, didn't have a hut 100 before Drake was on their track. And if they were on the hut 100, he helped them climb. Okay. So that's pretty much where I'm going to lay that because um, with all that being said, you know, you're going to have to come correct to really take down the six God and it's probably not going to end well for anybody involved, including Drake. Okay. He had that, the main actress from Kill Bill, what's her name? Uma Thurman. Yes, that one. She <laughs> yes, that one. tagged him on a post on Instagram that, of course, if you guys follow pop culture and music, um, you probably saw it on his Instagram. And it was the suit from Kill Bill, which I thought was hilarious. No, that was funny. I will give that. That was funny. But that just, I don't know. Drake has impact. I think they hate that Drake has impact. He just does, unfortunately. Fortunately. Mm -hmm. However, the cookie cuts, whatever the saying goes. However, the cookie crumbles. Crumbles, cuts, whatever. Crumbles. Same difference. Um, it's in pieces. But I felt like that had to, we like, well, you know what? As this unfolds, we're going to jump on here. We're going to talk about it because how can we not? It's kind of the biggest thing that's happening in music right now. So honestly, I will say that this is just like making hip hop slash rap like fun right now. Like the female beef, female rapper beef was just getting like a little not so fun. Like this, re this beef is kind of. Because they just sit there and call each other ratchet assholes and bitches and you wasn't shit before. You. None of them was shit before they had money. They were all mad, beat up, ugly, no butts. They all got BBLs. They all injected their lips. They all got the nastiest weaves Coming. that Coming a woman could get. And now they're all, oh, you ain't shit, bitch. None of his was shit before. So None stop that. You stop will it. will be Nicki Minaj. She wasn't shit before money. You see her? Even Rihanna. I know you're not trying even to play Rihanna. with her face card right now. I'm she's not even listening to Nikki's you. fire. I'm not saying Nikki's she's not. Nikki's always been cute. Even before the money. Stop playing with her. I guess. I know. Mm -hmm. Barb the shit. Barbs. <laughs> the Barbs. I'm OVO. Sorry. We don't play over here. We come for head tops. Please. OVO was thirsting for a Barb. Yeah. <laughs> Um, all right, so let's roll in. You you, you ready? We we good on uh yeah on Drizzy Drake. We, we are gonna have this little segment every episode for as long as this as it keeps unfolds. Going, all right, keeps cool. Going. So 
There was a uh, a meme I saw I thought was pretty hilarious because uh, most people have this person in their city or town um, to some degree. So it says every city has a guy they all know about. You can visit a friend in their town and see a man dressed in robes riding a horse and your friend will go, oh yeah, <laughs> that's horseback Jesus. And then that's just the end of the explanation. Now, growing up in Wuben, did you have that like person like, I don't know, like, not that I'm trying to shame any homeless people or anything, because I know life be hard as hell, but did you have that person? I know I, I had a couple of them. You know what? Yeah. I mean, as nice as Woburn is, it's, it, it has its moments. I'll tell you <laughs> what, the one in Winthrop was this older, like, not older woman, she probably, like, Back when I was a kid, maybe, I don't know, shit, 12, 13, 14, like she would walk around French Square in Winthrop smoking cigars, black and milds, whatever. And like, she was like a skit, like you couldn't talk to her, but she would talk to herself. Like she would walk around talking to herself. And like when we were kids, like we would have half days or something on a Thursday. And we'd Please just... don't tell me you guys would harass her. No, 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 no. <laughs> like we sucked, but not that bad. Um, <laughs> No, we we would just we'd have half days, so we'd get out early and we'd be go gallivanting all over the town, whatever, hanging out, big groups of us, million of them, um, and so, like we would see her in French Square, and like if we were walking on the same side of the street, we cross the street because we knew like we don't even want to walk by this lady, talking to, to each other because she's gonna think we're talking to her. She's gonna pull some like tweakish crackhead vibes, and we How weren't old about were you? it. Ah. Uh, I, I'd li- like at Pre-teen. least 12 yeah like 11 12 13 like maybe 14 maybe I, I yeah she definitely would have tried to talk to you guys well the thing no she didn't want to be talked to but if we walked by her just like doing our thing she would like think that we're trying to talk to her type shit absolutely and start tweaking like and not even making sense so yeah that lady i, I don't think we had like this one's funny because it's like, oh, that's just, that's just horseback, horseback I mean, Jesus. You know like what? we didn't have a name for it. I, I don't think. I won't say Woburn, but definitely like when I'd stay at my dad's during the summer and like during the weekends in Dorchester, plenty. Everybody knows the oh, guy in, in Dorchester, of course. Yeah, everybody knows the guy who's preaching to you. I believe on the twenty two, and at Ashmont, he oh, be preaching. God. Yeah, I think, uh, I, I don't know, like the part of time that I was grow- not growing up in Malden, well, kind of, but going there, staying there, grandparents' house, whatever, friends, I don't remember really seeing one in Malden. I mean, it, listen, Winthrop people, know. if if anybody from Winthrop is watching and tuning in, um, let us know if that lady had a name. If If you guys are watching, then you know exactly who I'm talking about, so let me know if we had a name for that lady. Um, please, because I'd love to know. And any of my Malden people that are tuning in, if we had someone of this caliber <laughs> patrolling around these streets, just like on some crazy If you shit, had your like, local crackhead, yeah, please let us know. Yes, that's what I was trying to say in a nice way. But yeah, let us know about your local crackheads, guys. Um, all right. So I want to roll right into these threads here since we're starting out hot. Um, this one is you're a burglar. But you can only steal things to slightly inconvenience your victims. What are you stealing? My favorite is taking off all the labels of the canned veggies. Oh, that's beans, foul. Whatever, all of them. Take it all that's off. That's foul. You can. Can. Huh? You can't do that. Yeah. That's fucked. Just take it. You go to get a fucking can of soup and you open up like a, like some like black beans some or something. Bowls. So yeah, like <laughs> your child wants a can of spaghettios, you open it up, it's like a fucking can of peas. That's terrible. That's that's I think mine that's uh, what am I stealing that's like gonna inconvenience the shit out of people? Mm, maybe the toilet paper. Like imagine like you come home like I come into your house, I steal all your toilet paper while you're at work. You come home and you know when you go like you know ninety percent of people ain't dropping the deucey deuce at work. M- me, I will. I'll drop a deuce if I have to shit. I'm I'm sorry. Shits are for the nah, home if I, only. I, if I have to shit, I'm going. I'm sorry places I won't shit. Fenway Park, 
the TD Garden, any public restroom in Boston. Like, you know how they have them new outdoor, we like, just, high-end porta parties don't Ain't do doing in that. Boston. But, yeah, anywhere really in Boston's a no-go. But I'm definitely so... I'm definitely stealing the toilet paper because imagine you come home from work all day. You had to shit. You were thinking about that what shit all day. Cause there's nothing better than sitting on your own throne. Like we all know that. So, I mean, I, I get it. Like I'd be honestly like out of like habit. I go to like get my toilet paper and it's not there. I'm going to be hot. Yeah. That's the point. So hot. like you drop a nice deuce felt nice. Everything came out clean. You go to reach for the toilet paper is not there. That's a major yeah. inconvenience. Because what are you going to do? Yeah. You're either hopping right in the shower or you're using uh, a face cloth. You're going to do that little. I'm sitting there run, for like and you're 10 gonna... hours and letting the air dry. <laughs> or, you can... <laughs> or you can get like real, um, real classy with it. Get yourself a bidet. Highly recommend though. Yeah. Nice. You know what I'm going to do? To inconvenience somebody, you, take all the cubes that you use for your chargers. All oh, the blocks, that's foul. But take you know what? All of those. That's not that bad because we have wireless charging these days. So, like, you could you could steal that and. That's true. That's but true. actually, no, that no, because because you, you, you got to plug it in. Piece? Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah. You do absolutely. Yeah. All right. Um. What answers people give? That you pretty sure they are lying. I'll call you later. That's absolutely the biggest lie. My favorite lie. I'll call, what's another one? Like the, I had another one um, in my mind that was relative to that one. But now I, I completely lost what it. But answers people give you that you pretty sure, sure they're, they're lying. lying. Call you later. Um. There's another one. I'll let you know. We'll see. If I tell you, I'll let you know. Don't count on whatever I'm. you think I'm going to let you know. I'm not going to lie. When people used to ask me to like come to sleepovers, I'd be like, oh, like, let me ask my mom. And then they'd be annoying. Mom. No, I did ask my mom. Oh, okay. Sorry. And she said yes, but I didn't want to go, so... They'd be annoying with the follow up, and I'd be like, "Oh no, I talked to her, and she said no. Like we're doing this this weekend. I wasn't doing shit. You that wasn't weekend. doing nothing. You just didn't want to go. And I, you know what? That's that's fair though. I'll let you know. We'll see. You guys go. I'll meet you there. You guys go. I'll meet you there. Means I'm going home, ordering a pizza. Falling asleep to something on Netflix and going to bed. That's what that means. You know what is a good... This one just pertains to my dad only, but like, I'm on my way. Boy, oh, you're not on your way. I can hear your background. You're not in the car. You're not way. on your way. You're a whole liar. I'm on my way. <laughs> I can literally hear you in the store. I hear like background music, cashier, like you are not on the way. Oh, well, how about... <laughs> I'll be at your house in 10 minutes knowing damn well I'm going to be there an hour and 20. I See, I can't relate to that one because when I tell someone I'll be at your house in 15 minutes, I'm going to be there in like 18. Because I'm probably stopping for a Red Bull or a pack of candy or something. Maybe gas. Yeah. There was one more I saw. that Generic. <laughs> Living the dream. Because we all know we weren't living the dream. Yeah, but I think people give that answer because, like, who really wants to stand around talking about their miserable life? Fair. Sometimes I do, though. Yeah. Just because. That's nice. <laughs> Making somebody listen to your word vomit. Damn. I like this one for some reason. What would you do if you had a whole year of free time? A whole year like a whole year of free, free time. time like you like didn't no have to like you had nothing but free time like you didn't have to work you didn't you know like, no, like if you have kids take them off the table um no dentist doctor's appointments no just free time. just free time like every second of the day for 365 days you were available to the world i know what i'm doing 
I'm going on the. I'm taking a year long vacation. You know what I was thinking? That year long cruise that like goes all oh, around yeah. the world. I'd do that. Free I'm time. with that. You have a whole year yeah. to do nothing, bro. Do a whole lot of. Never I get mind. to see. Th- I won't say it. <laughs> I get to see the world in twelve months, year, a year, twelve months. Yeah. That's absolutely fire. All right, I got another good one here. Um, this this thread here, guys, is that I'm reading. And for those watching, I'm going to try to get some of these up so you guys can read along and also see what we're seeing. But this is a conversation that someone had on Twitter. So I'm assuming the guy is the one being clever here. I mean, because it just makes... Actually, yes, it is. Absolutely. What am I saying? All right. Um, I could be your court jester. Do you like jokes? She said, depends on if they're good. He said, did you hear about the guy who dipped his balls in glitter? Pretty nuts, right? (laughs) Dad jokes are the best. Oh, my God. Uh, See, I love dad jokes because I'm a dad. I know she left him on red. (laughs) Yeah, she did. Actually, if you look at the picture, it was red. Sent in red. I love that. People on Twitter just be, I'm Twitter. People on Tinder just be wild, though. Like, some people are just so straightforward. You got nothing to lose. I know, but it's mm-hmm. like, unless you're messing with the ultimate thought, Yana, you can't just be like, hit a girl up and be like, hey, can I uh, get balls deep later? Like, you can't, like, unless she's a hoe, but. Really? You can't even come to a hoe with respect? People are just foul. They're so direct. Hoster I don't know what to tell you. Too. I like this one. <laughs> the ca- This one's life advice. Quitting porn addiction. Ben saying that I wasted my 20s doing nothing. And part of the reason is being a porn addict the entire time and fapping three times a day. I love that. I believe that's a UK sling. Because I hear, I hear um, when I watch shits and gigs, they definitely say fap. So yeah, so this guy's beating his meat three times a day, which is a little excessive. I hope he's using lotion because you don't want to be chafing that thing up there, big boy. But um, how, how do I quit? It's like impossible. Is there a reason I have no? Is it the reason I have no friends, no social life, no social skills, etc.? And I'm a loser and failure. This guy's being extremely hot on himself. Um, yeah. No, he's I, not. That sounds pretty accurate. Uh, yeah, but you know, there's probably plenty of loser. normal people out there that yank it and have normal lives. Like, there's plenty of people that yank it three times a day and still get get the ladies. He doesn't sound like he's Well, no, nah, he definitely, yeah, ladies. he doesn't sound like he's no getting nothing, but skills, he ain't getting nothing no but his friends. right hand or left, depending on what he likes. And other objects. Who knows what kind of porn he's into? That's valid, too. That's a very valid one. Um, I would say if, like, if I'm going to take this as he's asking me, how do I quit? Um... I don't know if you necessarily can, if it's that bad. I don't know if you can without actual serious help. But if I were to make a recommendation, I would probably try to get like at least a flashlight or something. So at least it's like, if you're not going to get the real thing, you got to get as close as you possibly can. And obviously like you, you feel like you're jerking it too much. So at least when you do, if you are going to continue to jerk a lot, then maybe you have something that like changes it up a little bit. That's such a sad life. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, sorry that that got a little foul, guys. But you know, everything's high level here. <laughs> <laughs> so the, this is one I wanted to like. I didn't want to pre-read this one because I liked the headline of it. Okay. Um, this is a am I wrong? So okay. it's captioned. My wife refuses to get rid of the old sex video she made with her ex and thinks it's massively unfair for me to ask her to. My wife and I were watching a movie and sex tapes were brought up, specifically destroying slash deleting them if you aren't with the person anymore. She dropped the bomb that she still has one. She and her ex friends with benefit from seven years ago made together and doesn't plan on deleting them. I... 
in my humble opinion, understandably, I am, I was, in my humble opinion, understandably upset. In her words, these videos are tokens of her youth and stupidity. Wow, that's a fucking hell of a way to look at that. Um, and she'll never get to see herself as dumb and carefree as she was in these tapes. I don't know. Like, why do you care about that, though? Girl. Why do you care about that? You being dumb and making those mistakes made you the woman that you are now. The dummy woman that you are now. Because why do you want to hold on to something like that? I don't understand. Um, I told her she can see herself being young and carefree in old photos. She passionately claimed that photos are nothing compared to videos and she doesn't have videos of herself from back in the day, blah, 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 blah. I straight up told her that I'm not okay with my wife keeping slash possibly watching herself getting banged by another guy and asked her to delete them. She got genuinely upset. And he put it upset in all caps. So just to specify, upset. Yeah, she was probably throwing a little a little tantrum. hissy fit, bro. She said I was m- being massively unfair and asked her to delete something that she can never get back. That she hasn't spoken to the guy in ages and doesn't have any feelings for him. And it's just a background prop in those videos to her, etc. She was headstrong about keeping these videos until her damned grave. Oh, that took a twist. So she's dead? Maybe I'm the delusional one. She was so passionate that I now sit here wondering if I'm missing something. Guys, is it normal to keep a seven-year-old sex tape of yourself and someone when you're married, not even dating, to someone else? And am I unfair for wanting her to delete them? Oh, I see. Okay. I, I kind of like read that in yeah, a weird way. It like she's she gonna, was headstrong yeah. about keeping these videos until her damned grave. Okay. She's not dead. And I was going to say then what, what is the problem, bro? You can just take the phone and delete them yourself. Um, are you wrong for that? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I just can't believe the reasoning. Talking to your mic. <laughs> Ew, we're going to have to edit that. I don't know how, but we're going to have to. Don't worry. Um, The reasoning is more crazy. I think, the, yeah, the reasoning is crazy. I think um, you're definitely not wrong for asking her to do that and not for nothing. But if she was going to keep an old sex tape from seven years ago with someone who isn't you... She needs to do a better job at making sure that, A, she's not going to expose herself like she did. She didn't have to bring that shit up. Or, like, she knew you guys were talking about it and you didn't know about it. She should have kept it on the hush-hush if she didn't want this problem. And also, if you're going to keep that, you need to keep it somewhere safe. You need to get, like, a backup hard drive. Or you need to get some shit where you're going to put that. No one, and even you might forget about it. That's your safest bet if you're going to keep it. But... Your your husband asked you to delete it. You should fucking delete it. Make one with him. Boom. I just don't understand, like, her perspective. Like, what she meant by, like, oh, to see myself, like, young and dumb. Like, I don't, like. Yeah. I kind of. Of all actions you want to see yourself young and dumb in, it's getting railed by your ex. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, ultimately, she's wrong. She is no matter which way the cookie, what did you say earlier? The cookie something, not the cookie crumbles, but that's the, the way cuts. the, oh yeah, that's the way the cookie cuts. <laughs> you heard it here on the high level podcast. That's the way the cookie cuts. Sidebar. Have you guys ever seen that meme of like that white kid sitting in class and his like veins are popping out because he's trying to hold a cough back. That's me right now. <laughs> uh, I like this one. If you could switch lives with any fictional character for a day, who would it be? And what's the first thing you do in the issues? I knew my the second I read this. Tell me yours because I need to think this through. You should fictional already know mine. I'm gonna There's be so ba- many. I'm gonna be Batman, bro. Are you kidding me? I'm I'm gonna be Batman. I'm gonna go slay people i'm gonna throw batterings at people There's not people so bad many. people but i'm gonna go fight two face i'm gonna throw a goddamn battering in his mouth i'm gonna go drive around the batmobile 
I'm going to go be Bruce Wayne, billionaire playboy, th- throwing stacks at people, buying goddamn hotels and going swimming in the pool with two French models. Getting bullied by the Joker. Yeah, he got pushed around <laughs> a little bit, but. I don't know. There's so many that I, I want to choose from and I can't like just choose one. Like... Yeah, pick one. I can't think. There's just so many. Yeah, you gotta have one. Hmm. Just it doesn't. It's not that deep, dude. It is that deep because there's so many characters that I feel like I love, but like they need a change. You know what? I'm gonna be Emma from Degrassi because wow. I just felt like she was so irritating, and I could have helped her out so many times. That was left field. You, you I know why you picked Degrassi. Jimmy in the wheelchair. Drizzy's fresh on your mind, see? Um, <laughs> I can't even take you serious. <laughs> I like this one. This one's a little, um, a little shysty, but we can, we can be shysty for a minute. Um, what's, what's the worst thing you have ever done to get even? And ladies, we don't want to hear. Oh, I fucked his best friend because that's foul. Fuck his best friend. It's foul. And his dad. That's also foul. <laughs> and then be his stepmommy and ground him. Y'all are some <laughs> foul, foul humans for doing that. Just saying, I would never cross my people like that. Your people shouldn't be crossing you like never. that. Never. Um, shit. The worst thing I ever did to get the one thing get does come even? to mind. Yeah, I have one thing that comes to mind. I don't know if you want to go first, but. I definitely have Go first. So, I had this job. Not gonna... We won't name drop because this goes out to the whole world now. Um, Sidebar to that. If you're still here, go follow us on YouTube, The High Level Podcast. Subscribe, please. We would really appreciate the subs, the likes, the comments, the shares. You can find this podcast everywhere you find podcasts. There's your advertisement for the day. Um, yeah. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Got to make it a little commercial. There, a little boop, little pop in there. To promote yeah, the that po- way you guys can't fast forward or skip the ad, you know? Yes. <laughs> we don't have ads yet, but let's get us to the point where we do have ads, guys. Come on now. Subscribe, like, comment, share. Um, worst thing I ever did to get even. So I had this job at a commissary kitchen, and at one point, we were also running food trucks and we had this food truck that I like to call the camp crystal lake truck. Okay. Because when you were inside of it, it literally looked like you were in like this beat up old, like little cabin in the woods. Like, and you felt like Jason was going to pop up at any given moment and just slay you (laughs) mid sling. Like you're you're just slinging food. He was going to pop up on that ass and take you out. But, um, I was just sick and tired of like, cause that truck we had to take like mad far. I think we were going to like Rhode Island or like, I forget where else we used to go at this point, but like far enough where like, I didn't feel safe driving this thing. This thing had no headlights thing had uh, expired tags. It had no inspection sticker. It was the um, driver's side door didn't like stay shut. So you'd be driving down the highway and the door swinging open and closed, like sliding on you thing was from like the seventies or something. It was old. But I was sick and tired of it. And at that point, with well, my job, I was very much over the job, too. I didn't give a shit. Um, you already know this story, but mm-hmm. this is this is for the people listening and watching. Um, and I said, enough's enough. So what I did was, before we were supposed to leave for that day, the key went missing. And then I found the key in my pocket later that day, guys. And needless to say, I didn't have to drive the Camp Crystal Lake truck to Rhode Island. So... Uh, that's probably the shiestiest shit I ever did. Cause at that point to me, that was getting even. Cause I was like, you're really going to send me out in this unsafe thing. Like that is getting even to me right there. Cause ultimately in the end, I won there. Yeah. I would say that's getting your look back. Absolutely. Um, you got one. I was trying to think of one, but like, I'm not like retaliatory. Honestly. You've never did anything to get even. Like, have I done petty, petty, I don't know, 
I'm not maybe like some petty tip for tap, but like nothing that's like memorable enough for me to be like, yeah, that was so low down of mm. me. Everybody has one. You just either can't remember or you don't want to share it. Well, I do have one that's kind of psychotic. <laughs> so a friend of mine, a, we were a friend group at this time, and I guess she found out that her man was cheating. And she was like, I'm going to go to his house because I know he there with that girl. We're going to F her up and, you know, we're going to key his car and, like, go vandalize stuff. All that foul shit, yep. I'm not a vandalist. Like, no. And, like, at the time, we were in a suburb being this color. She I'm was not like, doing I was with that. all the white people. I'm just not doing that. Like, you're bugging out. All the white people, all the white folk out here. Like, you're bugging out. So, I was like... Did you did you wear on um, black air forces when you did it? No, actually, okay. I should have really been in my bag with that. <laughs> one. But because I'm a little unhinged, I was like, "We're not gonna vandalize his car." What I what we did or what I suggested, and another girl did. I only made the suggestion. I didn't do it. Oh yeah. I only instigated it, but it, I had nothing to do with it. I am an instigator. I will give myself that. I'm such an instigator. But I was like, just take the registration sticker off his license plate and he'll get pulled over. Ooh. And this you, man you doesn't have a license. That. Like, he, he, he shouldn't have had no car. <laughs> I don't even know whose car that was, but somebody took the sticker off and I'm sure he probably got pulled over and had a really bad day. Ooh, I that's a good one. I never really would have thought I of that. I forgot about that. That was like so long ago, like over 10 years ago, way over. I kind of want to, like, I like this one. What are some really dangerous things most people don't realize are dangerous? Swimming in the goddamn ocean, especially out here. Fucking get eaten up real quick. Have us filming fucking... You'll have people on Revere Beach with their phones filming a new Jaws movie. I don't like that. I don't like the ocean. But you go out to the Cape. People people go to the Cape to vacation. Whatever. It's it's nice. It, it is. But you go out there. You fuck around and get eaten by a shark real quick. And the water's mad cold anyway. So why the hell are you even going in the it's ocean? It's not your vantage point. You have nothing to grab on. To, like nothing to keep you stable in the water. No, nothing. You nothing. are at your most vulnerable in the water. I'm going no, like knee deep. That's as far as I go. I'll just sit down there and cool off. Like I'm not going. I'm not going swimming in I'm the ocean, bro. I love the ocean. That's wild to me. <laughs> All right. Um, what do you think? Should we do, I'll do one more, uh, thread and then we'll, we want to do what you rather. Yeah. Okay. I like this one. So I've been guys, when I've been finding these threads, I've just been going based off the title. I didn't want to read it. Like I want to be fresh. I want to, you don't have to I read that fully whole excerpt that. though. Oh, oh no, no, God. no, no. I know Ooh. that. No, I'm, I mean like. I don't pre-read these before we come on and re- and and do the pod. Like I just come into it. Oh, so it. you're just as shock and shook uh, yes, with the audience. Yeah, because I want to be. I want to react to this. So authentic. Well, not for nothing. That's kind of how we try to keep it here at the high level podcast. We try to just be in our natural element, be our natural selves. You know, the only difference is a couple of mics and a camera and a couple and my of allergies lights. with me coughing. So. Um, so, all right, guys, um, this one says my boyfriend didn't tell me he's got herpes. I'm thinking about ending it because of that. Am I overreacting? So this girl is 25. She met her current boyfriend who's 28 about two months ago. He's really nice. They get along quite well. At least we did until today. So what's happening right now is the tea is starting to get hot and it's about to burn i have a feeling no pun intended it's gonna burn <laughs> if that that's one a wrong std just oh is it <laughs> why herpes don't burn i'm sure if you had fucking genital herpes that might burn a little bit probably more like sting they're like sting lesions. burn what's the difference so i know that because 
I had sex at. Wow. Me too, actually. I think I, I had it kind of early. That we are, I'm pretty sure, like, almost the last generation to have sex at. Like, your son doesn't have sex at classes. That's why all these kids be getting pregnant out here. With STDs. With STIDs. So, somehow today they ended up talking about their body counts. For her, he's number three. I was shocked to hear about how many... Hear him saying that he slept with around 30 women. They're allowed to do that, apparently. I mean, that that's a lot. Like, that's a lot, though. I mean, shout out to all to my that. playboys out there. If you're, if, you, if you're like my age, if you're like 29, 30 years old and you slept with 30 women, you're a dog. You're a bum. You don't have anything else to do but besides diddle your diddle. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Like, you don't have anything else You don't have else anything to do. else to do but diddle your diddle? Like, nothing else Shit. to do. Just going around, just... What happened to just, like... Bumping uglies, bumping coochies? What about, like, having, like, you know, maybe half of that body count multiple times with those people as opposed to, like, one or two times with 30 broads? That's wild. Um, He also paid around 20 prostitutes. So now, oh, the edit... Today, he told me those were just dates. He also paid around 20 prostitutes, so it's 50. So 50 women. How old is he again? 28 years old. My guy, your pee-pee going to fall off, bro. That Stop why, that. That's what. And her Stop that. Is like, immediate. Foulness. Immediate, look, immediate thought is unprotected sex. So oh, you're most, he's most likely having he's unprotected raw dog sex everybody out here. 50 times. Wow. That's kind of disgusting. Like that, oh, He's shit. the carrier. That's disgusting. He must be eradicated immediately. <laughs> <laughs> he must be eradicated. Are you shitting me? Oh, my God, with bro. With herpes? Ladies, that shit lies dormant. He's 20. You better go get a panel so done. <laughs> she's 25 and slept with three dudes. Respect, sweetheart. You're 28. You slept with 50 women, 20, 20 of them being prostitutes, bro. Unprotected, foul. Um, Sorry, I'm going off here, but it really shocked me to hear that from him. And I'm not going to lie. I freaked out deep in my soul. I have rightfully so, sweetheart. Um, shit. Um, I think I'm more distracted by the body count than the disease. Like, So she's basically asking, is she upset? Should she have the right to be upset over this? Absolutely. Duh. Duh. Um, absolutely. <laughs> if you're not upset, I'm actually concerned. Oh, that's just so foul. And so can we just do uh, like that? Just. I hope he's taking his, uh, we, his meds. Too. We got to get these. Um. Keep down the flare-ups and shit. We got to, uh, hold on. Camera's getting low on battery, so we should probably roll into, uh, the Would You Rathers real quick before we lose all of our footage and have to start this goddamn podcast over again, which I would really like to not do. When? All right. Oh. Wow. Wait, before we do these Would You Rathers, can we talk about... Nicki Minaj in the concert. What about it? Can we talk about how Kyle was over here like falling asleep? Well, if she came out when she was supposed to, <laughs> and I could have gone home point. at a that's decent time. And plus, I was running off an hour sleep that night. Men's was sleep. Yeah, I know. Well, fucking. Hunched over. That's what happens when you're a hard a great, working man. Great show. She put on a great show. From what show. I saw, she did. Like she the last three amazing. of maybe four songs, but yeah. Yeah, I did, I guys. Had a I great fell asleep time at Nikki. In Gag City, yeah. I don't know. But then he was nice and lively for the Bruins to Of course, lose I the got a good day. night's sleep. Yeah. And they lost 4 1, so what does yeah, it even matter? Yeah, they did. Okay. So I have a few that I actually really want to do. Where'd I go? There was this one that I thought. Hit me. Give me one second. 
Okay. Would you rather see the world but live in poverty or stay in one place and live rich? Um, See the world and stay in poverty because in reality, that's the real world. And you might as well see the world and being rich. Yeah. I mean, understandable though. Big things in my own city, you know? Yeah. Especially in Boston. Hell yeah. I would love to be in like the condos and stuff in like Seaport. Those things are like almost like between like five to 10 grand a month. I would love to be able to afford like a condo out in Seaport. I would too. That'd be mint. Like. I got one for you, though, really quick that I wanted to throw in. I know this is your segment, but I want to throw this one in because I like it. Let's hear it. it. Would you rather be insanely easy to impress or insanely difficult to impress? Insanely easy. Yeah, I'd say the same thing because I feel like if you're difficult to impress, then not many people are going to, like, take to you. Yeah. You know, you'd be a hard person to be around because you're just (laughs) unfazed by the world. You good, fam? It's the allergies. It's that season. All right. Go ahead. Right. Sorry. So I have a really good one that I thought was really good, too. So would you rather live in a utopia as a normal person or a dystopia, but you are the supreme ruler? I want to be the supreme ruler. I just want to know what that feels like I'll to have that kind utopia. of power. Fuck the power. Just one time in my life, I want to feel that kind of power. Whenever I think of power, I think of assassination. (laughs) James St. Patrick. Go ahead. (laughs) Ooh. All right. Would you rather lose the ability to read or the ability to speak? Oh, fuck. Isn't that like basically the same thing? Damn. No, it's not basically. Kind of, though, because, like... That's why it's an or. <laughs> yeah, obviously, duh. But yeah. I'm thinking... I would you be rather to... look at something and you're like, wow, I can't read that? Yeah. Or would you rather... Yeah, I don't want to read. Yeah, I'd just rather not... Just sit here and look dumb. <laughs> nah, yeah, I'd rather just not read. Yeah. Definitely. It's fundamental. I don't want to speak because that means you don't. Ha- I don't have to speak. <laughs> Say nothing don't ever. Talk to me because <laughs> I can't talk to you. Yes. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> Everybody should be learning ASL anyways. So yeah, that'd be yeah, that'd be a, such a dope job. I would do that. Hell yeah, I would do that. I'm taking no talking. No problem. Should I do another? Do we have more time? I think so. I don't know. If the camera dies, we're screwed, but let's go for it. All right. We're going for it. We can do a generic one. Would you rather have fame or fortune? I feel like that's a catch-22 because if you have fame, you probably have fortune. But if you have fortune, you probably have fame on some some level. So I don't know. That's a catch-22, but I think I would rather have the fortune and have the fame come after then have the fame and then the fortune come after if that makes any sense i think i would pick fortune yeah yeah just because i want the money first fair enough (laughs) do you have who cares about the clout another one or because if not i have one more we can do yeah you you give me okay would you rather every third thought you had be out loud or never be alone no matter what you're doing. Never be alone. I'll give me the. I'll take the third thought. Yeah, I'll take ima- the third thought too. A hundred percent. I can't imagine just some. Ugh, never be alone. You have torturous. so like you're trying to take a dump. You have someone there. You're trying to shower. You're trying to get you're it trying in. To you're trying to the bean. Whatever trying to- <laughs> you're trying to do. Scratch, scratch the record. <laughs> <laughs> trying to play DJ and you can't do it alone. Terrible. That's terrible. I'm trying to change a tampon, like no, I Woof. just I can't. No. <laughs> um, sweet, yeah. And again, that just sounds like more talking. Somebody just somebody there that means they're inclined to talk to you. And yes. Like, yeah. Unless talking, gotta go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Especially when you're trying to go to bed. 
<laughs> All right. So before we get before we get out of here, guys, I would love to give you a fun fact. Um, fun fact for the evening is in Thailand, it was considered a capital offense punishable by death if someone touched the queen. In 1880, the queen drowned when her royal boat capsized on the way to the palace. The many witnesses to the accident did not dare touch the queen while she was drowning. Imagine that. So, like, the one thing you didn't want to happen because you're a royalty, that being people touch you, could have been the one thing that saved your life. But they didn't because they didn't want to probably get decapitated. Hey. Be careful what you wish for. Yeah, it's tough out here. It is tough out here. But, all right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, this is going to be the wrap-up of the third episode, High Level Podcast. Please, guys, seriously, um, just jump over to the YouTube, subscribe, hit the subscribe button, please. It would mean so much to us to kind of get these numbers up and... Um, continue to give you guys more entertaining videos and audio. Um, you can also find this podcast everywhere you find podcasts, Apple pods, Spotify, Amazon, iHeartRadio, radio, uh, Pandora, the list goes on. So we would just like to once again, thank everybody for tuning in all the people in our inner circle of people that have been reaching out and you know, telling us we're on the right path and that we sound so natural together and all these great things, you know, that were funny and all these, they love the segments, just all these things, guys, it really does mean a lot to us. So for those of you who aren't in the inner circle, find us on YouTube, the high level podcast, go subscribe, go like, go share, go comment, tell your friends, tell your friends to tell their friends, tell your mom and dad to go hit the sub button, just tell them to hit the sub button. Don't even have to watch it. And if this isn't your cup of tea, support people who are trying to do something fun, something entertaining for ourselves and for you. It's very simple, guys. But with that being said, we will catch you guys next week. Thank you very much for tuning in.